<clears throat> uh, hi there mates, Silverpire here today, and today we are playing Savage Worlds. I'm your host, the, the, the GM, the Silver Pirate. Here we have Will, and we have a newcomer. Say hello. Hi. Alright. So. This will be Ben. Yep. So Ben, where are you from? England. Awesome. awesome. Northeast Pacific. Mm hmm. Anyways, he's going to be our new player. We didn't lose Jay. He's just uh, sick as of current, and I think he's going out of town next week. So, yeah. So, he's for right be now, like... so, for right now, it's just us three for the next couple weeks. Yeah, we were just looking to get more players in on this, so that way it's not just the two of us. Yeah, because... Yeah, we should be... Uh, you can expect, like, a fourth guy eventually. Eventually, yeah. Anyways, yeah. we're going to time travel a little bit before everything went down. As we go to a motel. This old motel's not exactly the best, but it's not exactly the worst either. It's probably one of them roadside motels. It is. Yeah. Off in the distance, we can see a nice shining uh, city with its lights starting to turn on as dusk is approaching. As we enter in one of the uh, many rooms we come into room 104 that's the room that you're currently in Ben uh, allow me to describe your surrounding uh, there is carpet flooring uh, a basically a queen size bed a mounted TV uh, a window which you have the curtains currently closed because of the uh, street lights and c cars that come on passing by so please describe to so please describe yourself well my character is a Rakashan so a cat person he's got quite bulky about six feet tall he's like White tiger, beast, look, and bright blue eyes. And he's wearing a bead necklace and robe esque outfit with this brown jacket with just pale cream, like cloak and a bow and arrow on his back and a backpack over his shoulder. Currently will be to the side of the... Right. <clears throat> and he's called Sam. Uh, currently, you're just sitting on this bed just after your father's funeral. And you have your passport, your plane tickets on this uh, end table right here for your flight back. To the uh, monastery where have you been training? Yeah. Uh, is there anything in particular that you are watching? I think he's currently just sitting on the bed, cross-legged, fiddling with the lighter he had in it, has in his hand, and just meditating. Yeah, I'm gonna say the TV's on for background noise. Yeah, probably just got some sort of flick the news on, but he's not really listening. Alright. Roll me a notice roll. Is it which difficulty do I to, to... Uh 
I'm going to say it's a difficulty of a modifier of two because you are distracted with the lighter and stuff. Oh, oh yeah, I'm you don't notice. I am currently getting some uh, atmosphere in. Hold on. Yeah, essentially, you're hearing uh, static as of right now. He's just too busy humming, like, meditating and humming to himself and, like, focusing on his meditation. He's been, tr been trained to drown out noise, so he's just... We interrupt this broadcast to bring you uh, breaking news. Apparently, a meteorite has crashed in the town of Ivory. That's right, if you are from or are heading towards Ivory Town, please be cautious. Did he hear that? Yes, your character did hear that. Okay. Well, he'd open his eyes and looking a bit shocked, but still calm. And then go and look out the window. Yep. Uh, currently, there are curtains covering. Uh, this is the window over here. I'll show that a little bit better. You peek out the window, like move the curtain. Um, you don't notice anything out of place. Most of the cars are in its positions and whatnot. You see a few people here and there, kind of going into some rooms, but nothing really too disastrous. Hmm. Yeah, well, with that, with hearing the urge. Uh, warning and probably knowing from that that the like planes and stuff will probably have been stopped like do I, can I do a no would it be a knowledge to try and see if he figures that out? uh so what are you trying to figure out like if he if he would figure out if like planes and stuff and have stopped if he's like stuck yeah you're not stuck obviously because you could get to your car and you could drive on out of here and get to the nearest airport, which is basically your plan. Yeah. I'm going to say about an hour, maybe two have passed at this moment as the broadcast gets interrupted again. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you some breaking news. Four communist terrorists have made a nuclear meltdown today. And as he's basically saying this, you feel the ground shake and rumble. Hell, the windows are actually vibrating to an extent. Well, he'll move back from the windows and grab all the stuff into his backpack and make sure he has everything the four like, on him. The four terrorists were captured by military police officers and will be interrogated and then killed tomorrow morning. More on this story at 11. What time is it now? Uh, basically it's like Ten. Like 10 p.m. in game mm. at right at this moment. Well, he's going to.
Considering he's an orc here with like darkness, he'll just turn turn to the cat, turn to like the TV, and be like, "Well, guess my journey's gonna be a bit early." And pack up his stuff and start heading off to the car. Roll me another nose roll as you are packing up. I need to say I'm difficult. It's mainly because you have the curtain open. There is no difficulty for this one. Man. So do I just like do I have that as zero? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say that this one actually succeeds because this is pretty damn obvious. As you look Even outside, though, uh, you hear gunfire, explosions. <laughs> Here's just some of the vehicles that are in the parking lot. They are wrecked. So, one minute I turn around and get my stuff, and then I turn back, and I just see wreckage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks like something has just came through here. In fact, you hear screams. He will instantly rush out side and be like, What the hell? All right. And try and look to see if the car's okay. Alright. Alright, you see what looks to be in one hell of a fight. You're not sure if someone caused this, or somebody. My, My question is, who the hell owns this beautiful beast? Because that is one gorgeous car. This is a beautiful car. And it just so happens to be a businessman's car. Mm. It's in decent shape, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Oh, uh, Ben, what's your character's name? Sam? Samuel? Sammy. Sammy? Yeah, you yeah. see your car right here. It's completely busted. Like, the engine block is literally on fire. Well... And he will, you see what looks like going... a car that just got ripped to shreds and just landed on top of yours. Well, seeing that, he will just mutter to himself, For fuck's sake. And then rush to the boot and grab everything that they can out of the boot. Alright. I'd, I'd say that's probably where he keeps his, like, exploring stuff that wasn't in the bag. Like, all of his stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as you are grabbing your stuff, please make another notice roll. Which difficulty this time? It's gonna be zero again. Because it's coming, you hear something on top of your car. Another one! Ha! <laughs> you I keep failing! Am I rolling these? Am I rolling these right? <laughs> I, I think you are! Oh, uh, yeah, know. um, actually, uh, Silver? Um, um, also, uh, there's something I should, uh, tell you, but, um, yeah, I won't say it here. No, go ahead. Oh, well, well, essentially, Sammy and two are brothers. All right. Uh, you don't see this thing until you close your trunk. You see this creature that has a spider abdomen for where... It, like, imagine a centaur, right? Replace this yeah. spider... Replace this horse part with... A spider abdomen and four spider legs, a human torso, four arms, normal hands, claws at the end of each of these fingers. Well, its face will... is spider, like it's humanoid shape, but it has spider eyes and a spider mouth. Well, he will 
It's just sh shout, what the fuck? And just instantly, like, on reflex, just go for, like, a claw strike and just, like, crash, crack, and considering you can probably tell it's dangerous. Oh, yeah. You know this thing is dangerous. With, tr with his tree and he just instantly just goes to, to, to like a slash. Alright, go for a hit. Oh, sorry. I need to click the target. Modifier? Do I don't think I add any modifiers to it. Uh, no modifiers. Because you're basically modifier. just straight up hitting it. Yeah. Or trying to, anyways. <laughs> So no modifier, no damage modifier. Wow! I must, I must be rolling these wrong. <laughs> okay. I'm not why? No. Why is that saying I'm hindered? I'm not hindered. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand that one either. But I'm gonna. Like yeah, over... I have that problem too. I'm gonna say that that hindrance doesn't count, so I'm gonna make it a success. I think I might have the something put on wrong. Yeah, I think so, but I'm gonna count it as a success since I'm gonna, like, unless you are being hindered or hindrance, I'm gonna count that off, and if it's a fail, and just by one point, I'm going to count it as a, a success. So mm -hmm. you managed to hit this thing right in the jawline, or where you assume the jawline would be. And it does not look happy. Mm. Okay. But yeah, this thing is does not look happy at all. Well, I just hit it. So like, action. How does action stuff work in this? In fact, it's gonna hit you. Yeah, I think it's... <laughs> if I get one more one, I'm... my luck is just no good. <laughs> oh, it failed too! Okay, another minus one. What's yeah. the chance? Oh, it's got a pretty decent chance. But yeah, this creature just basically tries to claw at your uh, at your clothes, and you just manage to back up just enough to get out of the creature's reach. All right, so I'm gonna draw out. So I'm gonna do something real quick. It basically set up a small initiative order towards the bottom here. These aren't uh, you or the creature, these are just your all's initiative. So the creature's got a four and you got a seven. Okay, you get to go first. Well, um, Sammy's gonna get into like a fighting stance and attempt to just like uppercut it off car. All right. No modifiers, no damage modifier. Oh, 
Okay, so you see, there must be some thing going on. Hold on. Uh, what's your hindrances? My hindrances are loyal. I basically, I must not leave people behind. Yeah. Phobia of <sighs> water, which gives me a natural minus two. I don't if I'm see in any, water. I don't see anything that would c cause the hindrance. It's a... hindrance two is like that's what happens if I'm in water. Yeah. I'm gonna say you hit it again because I'm not sure what exactly is going on on that front. Hey, remember I get hindered too, and I still make success. Yeah, weird. Yeah, that is weird. So I don't know what's going on on that front. I'm just trying to figure out like what happened to like where's like damage and stuff. All right, so the creature's gonna. Oh, I know what the creature's gonna do. I'm just gonna try with something random just to see if it's just me. Just try to ah, try with it. Failed. <laughs> this is starting to be funny. <laughs> Alright. Oh Jack. That's not good. Alright, so the creature's gonna go first. Can someone, else do, can, I, can someone else be the second person for the skin? Uh, yeah, I can. Alright, so the creature's gonna go first. Okay, what are the chances of this being another minus one? I don't know, but it is your turn. Well... I am going to... He is... Re knowing his training, he is going to attempt to... Like, jump back... Over here... And get his bow out and shoot it. Alright, make it a shot. Also, I'm counting squares as far as range goes. Um, what's my range again? So, your short range is 12, which means 12 squares. So, it's okay. well within range of your short. So, are you going to make a shot at the creature? Just try it's to get a 25 by 25. It's asking for Joker's dice? Uh, that's a no-go on Joker dice. That's weird, that. Yeah, what's... Oh. No modifiers, no damage modifiers. Okay, something must be happening with my num- what, what, the way I'm doing? Huh. Hey, Will? Yeah. Do me a favor and roll one of your attacks real quick. Alright.
Huh. That's weird. Hmm. That is odd. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to say that that one does miss. As you hit That's your uh, car's tail light. Oh, you get to go first. Well... Huh. I am... Um... Will it be fighting to, if I like run up and try and throw it towards the fiery end? So you're trying to pick it up, throw it into the fire? Yeah. Uh, I'll say you could give it a try. But I'll make it a, I'll make it like a grapple. Like first you would have to strength. grapple it and then throw it. That'd be strength or fighting? Uh, strength. No modifiers. Correct? No modifier. And I'm gonna be rotating. Difficulty. I'm gonna say a difficulty of three. Because this creature can attach to walls and stuff. Point. I'm going to give it a modifier Forget the uh, Forget four. The hindered thing. Forget the hindered. Yeah, I'm forgetting the hindered, but I'm giving the creature a modifier of four. And a difficulty of zero to stay on. It failed! No! What? Okay, so make a th uh, throw uh, check. Another, that be another strength, I'm guessing? No, 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 no. There's a skill called throw. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. If it succeeds, you will throw the creature into the fire. If it doesn't, the creature lands about here-ish. Should that be short range, average? I'm gonna say that's gonna be short. No modifiers. Oh. All right. That's so... adding on the hindered thing as well. So that's technically a war. Yeah. That is technically a one. I'm gonna have it uh, land right here near a fire, but it's not in the fire. All right, it's the creature. Yeah, here. and then, and then after that, he will step back again to. The... Hmm. Okay, I know what a creature will do. You see, it scurry off. Hmm. Well... Realizing what that is, and... <sighs> I'm guessing this is another room. Yes. Now, I didn't do all the rooms. I did the basic outline for them, though. <laughs> Um, you well, could try to currently look into the, uh, window. I was just about to do that. Alright. Make me... 
Hold on, let me see if I can find that real quick. Hey! No. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of the... the hindrances? Silver, um, can you pause the rhythm? Uh, yeah, just give me a second. Alright, so make me a notice roll when you're trying to look through this uh, room. I think that's more of an investigation. Well, yeah. Uh, f like, you could either go through the door, or you could look through the window. They're both the same for me. Alright. So Difficulty? Uh... It's going to be pretty easy to spot this even in low light. I have the dark vision, basically. I don't have difficulty with low light. Yeah. So, uh, so either notice or investigation you... of your choice. Okay, what difficulty? Uh, I'm going to say a difficulty of one. All right, you do see it. Uh, you see what looks to be a female woman on the ground uh, lying in a pool of blood. Jeez, a female... There was... Their door was busted open. I'm like, pretty they... sure you just... Uh, I'm pretty sure you made a gra uh, grammar mistake there, Silver. Oh, yeah, Female I Female woman. There's a lady on the ground. How about that? That's lying in the pool of her own blood. There we go. That's better. But, yeah, it's similar to yours. But, basically... Uh... Is that me? Uh, there's a dead person in there. Well. Do I see anything else in the room, or just that person? Uh, you don't see a whole lot in there, that room. You do see what looks to be some, uh, luggage bags. You said the door's busted open, right? Yeah, the door's busted open. Like, you know how in movies that, or in cartoons that you see a door just basically be broken and, off the hinges? That's basically what yeah. kind of happened. Except there's a lot more debris, obviously. Yeah. Well, Sam will just look at that and Oh yeah, oh, this door is not even there. He, he will go in and crouch down next to the dead woman, hold on to his beads that he's got around his neck and start praying and like chanting almost. All right, so as you are praying, you will uh, notice this, like, I'm not, this is pretty obvious to see. You see what looks to be in a hole in your chest. And what looks to be a bite mark on her arm. Hmm. You're not sure what caused that bite, nor how that hole came there. Well, 
Well, well. I he will he will finish his like fu the fu funeral rites ritual bit, and have a look around the room to see if there was like thinking to saying to well if she was here she probably doesn't have anyone be a waste to leave stuff and he's gonna look through the like room for anything of value all right so you don't find a whole lot mostly like some clothes for herself uh, you also seem to find what looks to be a essentially bikini armor. <laughs> and no, not to protect like the it's like an actual protective or anything like that. It's just more for cosplay. Okay, well he'll he'll just completely skip by section uh there are there seems to be a pair of keys on the nightstand though considering he's decently smart he'll probably piece together that this pro these keys would belong to one of the cars out there so yeah. he'll get pick up one pick up the set of keys oh Look at the dead body and hold his hand to it to the beads again, and head outside, and do a quick scan around for right. anything else that could be out there. So, do you activate? Do the, you like a, Do you activate the uh, do, find my car thing? Yeah, basically, you'll do a quick beep beep. You hear uh, this car unlock? Beep beep, motherfucker! But that car is completely right. So that's called wrecked to hell. Yeah, like it got torn in half. You're not even sure where the back wheels are. Well. So you realizing that I'll do a mm -hmm. I'll do a quick investigation of the car, see if there's anything in the car that could be of use to me, knowing that that stuff is around. Yeah, you hear what sounds to be like popping and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. from my car. Yeah, you hear popping from your car. Well, realizing he's probably not got much time, he'll just leg it off towards the wherever the exit was, but do it away from the creature. Uh, you do see this vehicle. Like I said, it's untouched for somehow. <laughs> I do a peek through the window on the uh, other side. Yeah, there's no one in it. Attempt to open it? Alright, so... Yeah, you can try to attempt to open it. Does it open? It's locked. Boom, 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 boom. Do I see keys in the car? Inside of it? So the keys are inside. No, there's no keys inside. Like there's no one in it in the car is locked. You could probably try doing dude. You could probably try looking into the uh, other hotel room to see if you can find the keys for this one car. Oh, I didn't even see there was other other room. Oh yeah, sorry. 
Uh, I <laughs> forgot to show uh, the outline of the buildings, basically. A bow, 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 you having fun there, dude? Oh, whoops. I thought I was muted. No. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so... We got the same music. So basically, uh, there's more hotel this direction. I just didn't draw it all. Is, it, was is just... this side the X? Um, hmm? Where? Parts the exit. Uh, technically, it's this way back towards the road where the creature went. Oh. But you're not sure what where the creature went after it got past the road. Yeah, so he'd probably know that. But if he'd, he'd realize that if the car blew up and he knew there wasn't anything like. Escape route wise on this side. Shit, if anything, yeah. Where's the other rooms? Uh, there's. Okay, so I'm just gonna use an arrow real quick. So there are rooms in that direction. I'll just have to, you know, draw them and stuff. Uh, over. Over this direction. Oh. There is a office and a couple of rooms over in this direction. Either there, or you can try to smash it in the window. Uh, he think can he could he's probably he's thinking like he knows how to, he can he thinks he can be able to get, but getting the car to start, he isn't he isn't. Yeah, because, well, you do have your tools on you. Yeah. So you could lockpick the car. Yeah, let's try to hot wire it. Alright, first, try and make me a lockpicking roll to see if you unlock the, the driver's side door, which is over here. Difficulty. I'm gonna say, have you locked pick? A, has your character locked pick the car before? Probably, if it's past. Considering I I'm gonna say to get the in. difficulty is uh, one, since these aren't the best of tools, but they'll do the job. Ooh, Ooh that's a good roll. Yeah, you unlock it he with has... ease. He has done it before. Yeah, you unlock it with super ease. You're like, oh, I've worked on this model before. And as soon as you put your uh, lock picking tool in there, you unlock it. So the door, the driver's side door is unlocked. Okay. He will... Like open the car door, crouch down to the like like get in to and try and see if there's anything like in like the glove compartment or anything. Yeah. All right. Uh, you check the glove compartment. There is a unloaded nine millimeter. It's a Glock. Cool. However, there is no ammunition for it. Like you open up the magazine, there's nothing in it. Pull back the uh, the slidey part of the 
gun, so that way the bullet can eject, there's nothing in it. It's completely unloaded. Looks like it's just more for a fear tactic. Well, he will take it anyway. He'll slot it into his a side pocket on his back. All right. Uh, attempt with his tools to hot wire. What was a hot wire check? All right. Um, I'm gonna say that it gonna be a repair roll. Okay. Hot wiring will be difficult. Yeah, considering that you never really hot wired a car. You just that's, it has to get into cars that no one had a key for. Eh. So, two, three. Silver. Hmm? More difficulty. I'm going to say difficulty of six. Ooh. That's probably going to fail. That's going to be. Somehow, you managed to start this car after fiddling with it for about a minute or two. And is there any way... Then you feel a barrel stick to the back of your head. I suggest you get out of this vehicle. Who is this? Uh, some guy with a shotgun. Move. Now. Well, he will open the door and look at, just turn in the seat and look at the guy. Sorry there. I figured it belonged to the dead lady in the other room. Out. Now. Sure. He'll get out. Alright. He's keeping his uh, shotgun trained on you, by the way. He's just calmly smiling at him. With his hands behind his back and stuff. Back it's off. It's fine. Father. Uh, you see the guy that get into the car and basically steal the vehicle. Could I have done something? Could I do some sort of insight on him first? You could have, but now he's gone. Yeah. Oh well. All right, so, so buddy, so your only transportation out of there. Well, well, he wouldn't. I don't think my character would have known whose it belonged to because no, one, he didn't have any proof of keys, and he'd already hot wired it. Yeah, the guy just basically stole the car that you worked yeah. on. I didn't figure that out until you said he took. He, he drove away. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't use a key I... or anything. Yeah. Like, he'll just... Samuel will just turn and look at that. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. All right, so... You are running out of options very fast. He will... 
Is this a, another building down here? Uh, no. That's just, uh, that's just basically like a sidewalk. Well, realizing what's going on, not like stuff's going on. Is there any way I could possibly climb onto the roof? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that there is a, a stairway that goes up to a second floor, and then a, a ladder to get to the no, roof. I mean just literally climb. Well, yeah, you could climb up with, like, your claws and talons. So, make me a climbing check. I'm gonna say difficulty of three. Ooh, yeah. talk about close. Two, technically. All right, so you managed to climb up towards the roof. Look, a bit tired. A uh, as you look second. around, you see that the city that you was looking at earlier, it is completely on fire. And you know that that's where the, your airport was at. Fuck. He'll look down at the ticket in his hand and be like, Guess I'm stuck now. Yeah. In fact, you see military jets fly in the air. I'll... Try and wave my hand to get their attention. They're not going to see you from up there. Because one, they're not flying in your general direction. And two, even if they were to notice you, they probably would pin you as a hostile. Okay, well. I will try and listen out for any other people in any of like, the nearby rooms. Uh, you don't hear anything. Complete, did, utter. Did I see, did I see what room the block came out? Or was I too busy down? Uh, in the, you did. Down, in the you did hear. Car? You did see when you looked up that this door was open over here. Basically, imagine this room. It just copied over here yeah, as was well as over here. Yeah. Well, I will climb over. I will like walk across the roof. Like, spin, like, jump, spin down onto to the floor. Yep. And try and peek into this room, to see, look into this room to see if there's any that he's left behind. Um, he didn't really leave anything behind. Mainly because he didn't have a whole lot of stuff. Well. Next room. Locked. Look through the window? Uh, you don't see anything. Curtains are closed. Mm. Like, listen up. Uh, do you try bashing the door down? No, like, listen, age the Roll a notice. Difficult to do. I'm gonna say five. Okay, for some weird reason that one didn't roll the hindered. Yeah. No, no, it just doesn't roll hindered, but lock picking and climbing. Weird. That is odd. <clears throat> You hear what sounds to be a very light banging, like someone's like rocking back and forth. I'll knock on the door. Go away! I gotta go to gun! I'm not afraid to use it! It's alright. No, it's not alright! We're gonna die! We're gonna die! 
I'm not gonna let some monster take me! And then you hear a gunshot. And whilst he's saying I'm not gonna let some monster take me, he would be trying to, like, lockpick himself into the room. Uh, do so. Difficulty? Uh, I'm gonna say three. Mainly because there's something behind the door. No. Yeah, that's a fail. <laughs> as you successfully lockpick the door, as you open it, it doesn't open all the way. Uh, as you look in, you see what looks to be the bed just been uh, thrown up against this door. This guy was panicking and basically set up like a temporary defense, but of course he was going nuts. And well, you do see a gentleman, maybe was in his like late thirties, with basically no head left. Can I try and, like, shoulder barge to maybe get for Um, yeah. Be difficult, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult. I'm going to say difficulty uh, four. Success. You managed to barge the door open. And move the bed. But basically, there is a gun in his hands. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do the same ritual I did for the girl below. Also, like by while sitting on the edge of the bed, looking at him. Uh, there's and... some, there is a note on the nightstand. What does it say? He comes for me, even in my dreams. I have to do it. I have to. I have to end my life. I'm gonna barricade myself in this room, then off myself. The devil ain't gonna take me. A.K.A. a suicide note. I figured. Well, he will keep... He will put that in his pocket. And... See? And to get the... Gun and realizing that, considering knowing that he, he if people are dead, they can't use their stuff like circle of life and all. Mm -hmm. He's gonna like, see what he had on him and or in the well, like, drawers other and... than his uh, blood stained suit. Uh, his pockets being filled with what looks to be uh, car keys for that car that that guy stole. He'll, he'll pick up the key. Fuck. Wrong guy. Uh, and his cell phone. Well, he, um, he's going to look through the phone. Uh, there's actually only two contacts on there. There's a contact that says best friend and wife. He will ring the wife. We're sorry, but the number you have dialed cannot 
be answered at this time. Please, hang up and try again. Boop! He will try again. Same message. Okay, he will try the best. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not available at this time. Please hang up and try again. Boop! Like, strange. And pocket the phone and keys and the gun. Lay him down on it on, it, on the bed with his, like his hands, like in a peaceful pause. So he's, even though he looks like he's sleeping, even though he has no head. Yep. And squeeze back out, back out of the room. Yep. What type of gun was? Um, it's a, another Glock. Same model as the one that you got from the uh car. Basically, this guy had two guns. One just meant to scare people, and one to actually use. Cool. And this one has about oh. seven rounds left. Just so you know. I'll fill in the weight later. Alright. Then I'll start heading off to the... He's basically just gonna, like, try... But yeah, over here, you end. just see office just kind of flickering on and off. Hmm. Doors open. Poke the head in. He hello. Uh, it looks like the either so someone just left in a hurry. Basically, it looks like that whoever owned this place basically left in a hurry. Strange. <laughs> like, there's a lot of stuff here, like some paper, some water, hell, even a half-eaten sandwich. Oh. I'll open up my backpack and get a bit more water, try and get, basically just like refill me ball I've got in there. Yeah. Canteen, ball, whatever. Uh, and what type of sandwich? Um, it's like a grilled cheese sandwich. Well. He, he, knowing that, he's probably, he'll just look at the sandwich bit. <clears throat> People always waste food. Uh, and just have a little look around for any sort of like. You also do notice that there's like a tiny sliver of mold on like the bread. Okay, that's why. And they'll. Heck, there's even a vomit pile. Like, it just smells gross and horrific in here. Like, someone just died in here recently. And the... There is, there is there a body? Uh, there's no body. It just smells like there's a body in here. Hmm. Well... He's going to... 
realizing that the stuff in here is probably bad, he will not. He will stop taking the water and put it back. So really thinking that things might have been here for a while. Might be contaminated. Yeah. Slowly out of the room. And then start running off to like realizing that the other thing. Ah! Okay, run, 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 run. <laughs> up to, up onto the roof. Yep, you just hear like a shout of pain. No, stay back. No. I'm ro I'm gonna roll stealth to uh, to see so people don't actually see me from. from... What difficulty would it be from a player? Um, I'm gonna say it's a difficulty of one, cause one, you're in the shadows. And there's like a lot of stuff that's going for you. The only reason that I say one is because you know white fur. Yeah. White fur. Okay, as you are laying low, you see that creature again, grabbing, like, dragging this guy off towards somewhere. Is it the same guy from before? Oh no, different guy. How far is it? Um, it's like, hold on, I'll put them, I'll put them in real quick. Uh, I figured it would, be, the screaming was coming from like down here somewhere. No, it was coming from up north. Well. Uh, just looking for something in particular. All right. Basically, you see uh, these two over here. That the guy is being drugged behind the creature by what looks to be a cocoon. I'm going to knock an arrow, aiming for the creature. I'm aiming for like the abdomen. Before you start knocking the arrow, the creature's going to notice you because of your failed stealth. Yeah, I figured. And you hear... You don't see... You don't hear anything from the creature, but... You do hear what sounds to be very loud noises coming from the north side of this uh, motel. Well, he will will still like shoot off the arrow. All right. Uh, my suggestion: run. Yeah, he will shoot the arrow, then run. Cause there's just gonna be more coming. Well, he would he have seen them things before he went to shoot. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so realizing there was too much, he would have liked this. Depends on how quick they are, and how quick I am. Uh, they got about, like, nine squares of movement. 
Since you know how many I've got? Is that like pierce, I'm guessing? You've so far have pissed only four. And there's more coming. Well, are there like a roof? Are there like rooftops nearby, or is this just like a little building in uh, the middle like of all a, this? This is like a a roadside motel. Well, he will. Uh, I'm about like... to be uh, in the motel stuff. Um, yeah, he's going to basically jump off and leg it through the forest. Okay, it's able. There's one nearby. There is. All right. You run into the night. We're gonna go over to Will now. As we go back to the cabin. Hello. The Hello. Will. I think I pissed a lot of people off. No, you pissed <laughs> off a lot of monsters off. Mainly because one of them saw you. All the monsters have pissed. But yeah, I, you are. I like... had a mean, had a mean thief. Damn. I almost had a car, but I had a stupid moment. <laughs> yeah, hold on, I'm doing a thing. Yep. Uh, we the pan the camera pans over to Dan's place as we see Dan just sitting in a rocking chair. What time is it? Uh, it is currently. About 30 minutes past midnight at this moment. So are you going to go out for a hunt? Yep. Alright. Do you wake someone up to keep watch? Um, I, I wake up. Um, I'll wake up too. Alright. Two is awake. He goes, all right, all right. I'm going hunting. I need to keep watching what I do. All right, fine. Go, go. All right. And, yeah. Go on. All right. As you are going hunting, I don't have a map for this, so. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do a survival check to see if I find any tricks. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. All right. Uh, difficulty. Uh, it's dark, so I'm gonna say a difficulty of two. All right. Success. Well, as you are hunting for. Yeah, success. Uh, well, I'm going to proceed to do, follow that up with tracking, then. Yeah. As you are hunting... I'm or... assuming it's also a difficulty of two. Yes. There you go. As there you have it. You, as you go to hunt, you notice some deer tracks very easily. And you start to follow them. Stealthily follow them. Until this guy runs into you by pure accident. Alright, well, I'll just do like a blank map and then just, you know, and then just, you know, fog of war it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just give me a second. Yep. Yep. There we go, and we can just, yeah. <clears throat> ah, we're low. But yeah. As you are currently hunting your deer, I'm just going to review the general area around you. This guy runs into you by pure accident. Uh, ben, just just legging it. Yeah, Ben, you are legging it towards uh, the Hold south on. direction. You are like, nope, I'm out of I'm out of that motel. And then you run yeah, into on. this guy. Yeah, hold on, I'm getting a thing.
But yeah. Maybe uh, maybe make the reveal area a bit bigger because yeah, I will. There's probably going to be a little bit of distance. There is. I'm just just showing you the general view as of right now, and there are tree lines mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it right here. Oi, 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 you. Uh, as you have an arrow traced on you. No time to talk. Who are you? They're coming. What's coming? I don't fucking know. Do they somewhat re resemble man players? One way to put it. Like, you say sit. Then, like, with the whilst he's still running, so. Oi! Oi! I would stay back if I were you. Uh. Samuel, you notice that this guy has an arrow pointed directly at you. And his name's not Samuel, it's Sammy. Uh, uh Sammy. Uh, like, yeah, it's like it's Bengali. Uh, you notice that uh, this guy is ha who looks to be a human in his uh, mid fifties, late fifties, late fifties. Yeah. Uh, in his uh, late fifties, just having this arrow trained on you. Just put the arrow down and run. I don't need to run. And by the looks of it, if they were chasing you, they'd probably be a lot closer then, wouldn't they? Uh, look behind me and try and see if I can spot them. You don't see them. I do a notice. I do a notice check. Yeah, Sam. Yeah. All right. All right. I think I succeed. What yeah, difficulty? You... How do you tell what difficulty you're doing? Uh, basically, when it says uh difficulty modifier, you put in the number. It, yeah, it'll tell. Can... Yeah, it'll ask you. It and just it, all, it always like pops up with a four. Yeah, just uh backspace and put in two. I did it with a difficulty of four since nighttime, and I don't got that low light. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so the both of you well, I'm, uh, I'm take a look. I'm knackered. <laughs> so the both of you take back a look in this direction. There, no monster is coming. Hey. Now if I were you, I'd stand. If I were so if I were you, I'd stand back. No problem. I'll lean against the tree nearby. So who are you? Samuel Quinn. I need to turn that down. Oh, Quinn, huh? Yeah, why? Mm, not... Anyway, if you're looking for a place to rust, Food, shelter, all that. Feel free to follow. Well, I don't mean okay. I trust you. This don't mean I trust you. I just happen to be a really nice guy that happens to have a, a special gland. You right? Okay. I ain't gonna rest all anyway. Alright. Alright, you can follow me, or you can edge cut, or. If you're feeling up to it, you can help me hunt some deer and uh, bring them back. Sounds good. All I'll, right, so I'll, yeah. I'll climb up into the tree I was currently leaning against. All right. All right. Make a and climb I will, proceed, and I, will proceed, I will proceed to do a tracking roll. Can I, I'm guessing it probably wouldn't be too difficult to climb a tree. That's not very difficult. 
Yeah, but probably still do a climb check, you know? Yeah, like, what what difficulty? Every uh, difficulty automatically pops up as a four for me. I'm going to say it's a one. Considering the fact that he's got claws and about and the get pl- climbing. Yeah. I get a plus. So, since I get bonuses and stuff to climb in, so it's basically just like... Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> uh, now it's saying it's nor. All right. Now it's not saying hindered for me. What the hell? I don't know. Oh God, this is weird. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look into that. Yeah. Well, eh, we can do. It. It's not. It's not bothersome. All right. I'm gonna review. Uh. A deer that's within the area. Alright, well, I'm gonna stealth up to it. I'll try and stealth up via the trees. Right. I'll Ooh. stay a bit further away. Alright, as you uh step forward... You gotta do the stealth check, by the way, dude. There you go. Yeah, you more than do it. Yeah, you are stealthing among the trees. Wait, quite that, would, what difficulty would that have been? Uh, I'm gonna say that they don't notice too late. You well, he already made it, so you too... made it. Uh, Dad did it. As you are uh, I on the traveling across the trees, Dad gets up close and steps on a twig. The deer's Heads pop up, notice Dan, and they go to scary on off. Can that qu- quickly uh, try well, and I'm shoot one well, off? I'm going to attempt, attempt to shoot it before it can really uh, go off. All right. Both of us just quickly try and, like, snap. All right. I think this was a short range as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was short was range. Short? All right. It's within short range. Alright. Um, no modifiers. And damage. Do I put a damage modifier on? Uh. No? No, oh, man. I hate the fact that I have to target something. In order, like, click on something to target just so I can do it. Yeah, I find that a little odd, too. It's kind of annoying. Oh, what? but I can turn that off, I think. I, yeah, I think I did it. Alright, now, alright, I'm gonna try some. Alright, now let me try. So, it's not working. Oh, right, that's because it's, a. Uh... It doesn't have a character sheet. That might be why. Hey, I hit it. Uh, you do hit and this one as it you hit it in the chest where the heart would be. As the other two just run off. I uh, I was shooting as well, so. All right. Yeah, he could probably do a separate one. Yeah, just if that. I'm just gonna actually... have, I'm just gonna have it in view so the way you guys can see it. Yeah, yeah, we can't really see it all that much. If it's actually gonna work for me. It's just well, saying no attribute hit. was found. Yeah. Um. No. All right. I'm gonna. All right. So. Um. All right. Can you? All right. So you see where it says configuration? No. Like at the top of the sheet. Yeah. Just like the sheet itself. Yeah. There's like a little th- there's like a little tab that says configuration. Yeah. Click that. Yeah. And there's a little box that says rolls, right? Yeah. In that box there's a thing that says attacks and next to it is target. Click okay, that and it'll turn it on. Okay. Huh. That'll be handy. Yeah. Um, resistance I now need to put in. 
I'm just putting it. No, I'll just do it as it is. Four. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you Ooh. miss. Uh, In fact, it hits a tree as the last two deer basically run off. Mm. But hey, you guys did get a buck. Is it still alive? Oh. No, it's very dead. No, I got it right in the heart. Well, so yeah. Do you want, do I, am I fast enough to try and like follow all the other twos? I'm gonna say no. Okay, yeah, well, he'll swing. One, the, one's, it, good, one's good enough. Well, can I do a quick like look around to see if there's anything else in the local area? Um, sure. Roll me a notice. I, I might as well do the same. Difficulty from the trees probably will be easier. I don't notice a thing. <clears throat> Maybe like one or two? I'm going to say a one. Um, you don't notice any other wild animals within the uh, nearby vicinity. You hear them off in the distance, but it would be way too far to walk, especially at night. Oh, it'll swing down from the, like, uh, you, like from the tree. You basically, like, uh, cl uh, slide down the trunk, but yeah. Yeah, and you'll swing down over to the creature and just try and pick it up. All right, make a shrink. Yeah, and well. Well, we don't have to pick it up. We can just drag it. That too. Yes. Yeah, and with so. two of us, it'll. Yeah, with two of us, we could get this back. Yeah. By, the, say, top, by the time it turns dawn. Oh, you would get it way before back before it gets dawn. Considering, uh, considering he's got a D six in strength and I got a D six in strength. Yeah, you guys will get it before like probably two. Okay, All so right. don't bother rolling. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to get you guys back towards the cabin. All right. With a deer in tow. Yep, I just have to copy over the deer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got to keep my token into, into mind as well. So yeah, you just go to one side of the thing and you and and uh, yeah, yeah, like this, and then we just do and maybe Silver just uh, you know does this, you know, just selects all three of them and just moves it for us. Yeah, that's why I was. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's just a very tight spot. Yep. All right, as you uh, enter in. Uh, hey, we're back. Uh, I'm back. I I'm got, back. Got up to the buck. Got this person here too. Uh, he goes, nice. To nice to meet you. I'm too. Flipping that. What are you doing here? I can ask you the same thing. Well, S Sammy will just, not realizing it's him, will just charge and just pick it, pick him up and, and just. Okay, bro, you could stop hugging me now. He'll not let go. It's not just me, it's my wife. Maybe, well. maybe you should actually move the token over to him so it actually oh, is. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I got it. Well, he'll put him down and step back and look at him and being like, Since when did my little bro have a wife? Uh, last year. 
Oh, that's why. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they're still asleep. Yeah, his wife is uh, still asleep. Which is arguably something we should be doing, so... Uh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna tap... I'm just gonna say... Oi, you think you can do the rest of the night? Yeah, I got it from here. I'm good. Right. You two can hang out all you want. I'm just gonna. Sl I'm just gonna go to sleep. As he just kind of take, as he just kind of takes a corner and just kind of sets up against the in into it, and then yeah. Yep. Yeah. And once it's once he he's gone to bed, Sammy will whisper to. Two. Like, how did you get here then? I've lit. The, the funeral was like a few days ago at least. Well, some random person was trying to break into my house, but he said his friend was in trouble, so I decided to give him a helping hand. And well, they took we took our car, my car. He points out to his car out front. Drove it to my sister-in-law's place. Then we drove here. Well, uh, you do also notice a few more other people, at least within this room. Yeah. Uh, he. Sam, Sammy will look a teeny bit embarrassed on the subject of cars and then like scratch behind it and his head and being like well do you know the car dad gave me yeah the green hatchback what about it kinda blew up uh, we can't trust you with anything I wasn't there let me guess, the monster? I don't know, I was watching TV. No, basically he was saying, did the monster break, destroy your car? Yeah, he didn't, I, I, Sammy didn't see the monster be until after the car was on fire, so. Yeah. He goes, that'll be my guess. Probably. Stuff's changed around here. Very. Get some shut eye, brother. I'll just lean against the, the wall behind him and just instantly fall asleep. Alright. We're gonna go straight to morning. And you just hear the rooster crow. Yeah, you hear uh, a bird crow. Rooster. Rooster. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, I'm getting a thing. <laughs> Just simulate that. He's going to still be out. He's out because he's not here. Uh, you see this, uh, female woman. Female woman. Uh, sorry. What's wrong with me today? My brain is not there today, I swear. Mm. Indeed. And, uh, you see, and they wake up. Uh, you see a uh, half-elf basically uh, starting to sit at the table. 
as you see, two is just basically still sitting in a rocking chair. As you see, this crazy old man who really isn't crazy anymore now, ain't he? Uh, you start to stir awake as well. So, the both of you uh, wake up. Uh, there are still a few people that are still asleep. For example, uh, gonna... Jay's character. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get the skin and the beer. Uh, I'm gonna bring it out over here and uh, yeah, start and start skinning it. Yep. All right, I'm gonna. But yeah, you can use this time to interact with survivors. <laughs> Because now we introduce a little mechanic I was coming up uh, yesterday. Mm. Well, I'm going to use survival to see if uh, uh, the to skin. All right. And I'll cut out some meat and see about making a bit of breakfast out of it. Yeah, you see uh, Alec and Trish is at the very least awake. All right. Uh, do I see? Uh, do I see the the dark elf? Yes. Oh, hey, dark elf. What? <laughs> Take this. There's a room. Uh, there's a bit of a storage area. There's a bit of a. Uh, I got a bit of a, a storage area. Run back. Uh, put this in there. I hand her to the pelt. She's going to take it to her set storage area. Which is, which is like, right, like, which is, like, right around, yeah, right, like, right there. Yeah, she's just basically taking it to the storage space, which I'll say it's right there. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, I guess I'll just set up, like, kind of a spigot on the, I guess I'm going to set up a bit of a thing on, at the edge of the fire here. Yep. No, I'm not gonna do the entire corpse. I'm just I know, taking I just, the streaming of me. I did. I'm just gonna delete that. So. Yeah, I take <clears> the streamings <throat> of me and uh, kind of put them on the edge of the fire and kind of let them cook. Yeah. And I rolled a three for y'all's first ever encounter at the settlement. Hmm. So, which means yours is going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Currently, Sammy's just got eaten some of the salad from his pack. It's very cold. And, you know, not as fresh. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Oi! Breakfast is ready! As um, you say, yeah. breakfast is ready. You hear uh, what sounds to be a, a motorbike. I get my bow ready. I'm just using and this as a tempo. This is not what he actually looks like. Right, but yeah, I'm just getting... But yeah, I'm just getting like my. I'm just got an arrow. I got a, you know, I got an arrow knocked, and I have it like kind of lowered. But I do have it. Uh, I do have the string pulled a bit, at the ready to be fully extended, and ready to aim at this guy. Uh, you see a motorbike pull up and park. Uh, this guy gets off of his bike. He's wearing dark jeans, a, what looks to be a dark hoodie. His hood is up. He's wearing a baseball cap, uh, shades, a white surgical mask with a black X on it. He seems to be wearing uh, leather gloves and dark shoes. And for some reason, mm -hmm. he's wearing a trench coat. Ah! 
I see that there are people here. How grand. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dealer. Also, can you do a skip command? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's just the intro. Oh. Was that what? Uh, Sorry about that. There we go. I'll try to catch that better next time. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, you see this guy just uh, lean up against his, uh, what looks to be a Harley Davis. He goes, well now. This could be an interesting business exchangement. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dealer. Can I offer you anything? You sure you don't want medicine? We got plenty of milk. That is it. That is it. My, my, my. Such boldness for someone so ignorant. Uh, what was that, Will? You kind of cut out. Less ignorant and more cautious. <laughs> I can barely understand you, Will. It is all right. Apparently, I'm not talking to the man in charge. You there, cat? He's looking at you, uh, Sam. Yeah, sorry, me. Sam, headset was being funny. Well, I'll look up at the. Duh. Who's in charge of this little joint? I don't really know. I just got here. Ah, oh, such a shame. Anyway, I like to offer what? my services as well as my products. As Ooh, long as I make a profit I, every I... day, I will stay. But if I You're lose a profit, I will leave. You're asking who the owner of the property is, you're talking to him. Yes, as you can see, I have noticed that you don't have a whole lot of medicine. I mean, first aid is good and all, but what would happen if, I don't know, one of you were to get a insidious infection? Lord. Ah, oh, very well. If you do not wish, I shall leave. If you want me to return, just call my name twice. Fare thee well, survivors. He gets back on his Harley Davis and rides off. Hey. Sam was just leaving it to him because he didn't know the he doesn't really know the rules of this place. Yep. So basically dealer is a drug dealer. Take it. He sells not only over-the-counter medicine, but actual legitimate medical supplies. Well, well after Dan is finished, 
people Dude, think... there's something going wrong with your mic, or someone's mic, because I can barely hear you. It's not like my rhythm. Uh, let me try to pause rhythm and see if that helps. Alright, well, essentially, we Dan is going to be taking off the, the mistakes. <laughs> and uh, he's going to go up to Sammy. All right. I'm going to tell you this, all right? I'm going to tell you how things work around here. All right. Have your fair share of work, carry your weight, and 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 you can make for and you can make yourself comfortable. Only take what you need, and don't and do not waste. I got some resources that we can use, but not a lot. Yeah, make myself and... clear. Yes. There's blankets behind the counter. There's blankets and a pillow behind the counter. So take one of each and make yourself at home in one of these tents. I'll turn like, I'm fine with the blanket, mate. It's fine. All and... right, well... He'll t well, take a tent, but he'll just get the stuff out of his bag. And, uh, he's also gonna stoke the fire with a couple of logs uh, while he's over here. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. As everyone's like basically fulfilling whatever duties that they were given, basically she's gonna do like walk a perimeter and keep the general area safe. Mm -hmm. Dan is Dan is gonna tend to the ch to the coop. As you head over to the chicken coop, you. Hear another vehicle. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This place is supposed to be solitude. Uh, you see a black uh, uh, SUV uh, start to pull up. Um. Yeah, I just get my hatchet ready this time. Do I recognize the car? Uh, no, yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna see if I and I'm gonna see if I can stealth right up next to the to the vehicle here. I'll go on top of the uh, vehicle. The, the vehicle does stop about what? twenty about twenty feet out from the last bang, thing over uh, there. I'm gonna see if I can just you know stealth and like just kind of hide behind to the side here and just kind of listen in. And decide whether or not I should uh, be there or not. Ooh. I'm I'm just standing on top of me brother's car, just watching. So what happens? Hold on, I'm getting them in. Mm. Uh, two people get out of the car and start to approach. They have rifles in tow. I'm going to jump off the car down here. Morning. Dan Anderson! Like a big grin. Come on out! We got something of yours! What the hell are you talking about? I'm assuming you are Dan Anderson. Uh, mm -hmm. These guys are wearing what looks to be gray hoods and a white mask. They're, you can't see their hand color, 
because they're not wearing gloves. Like this one in, that's talking to you has what well, looks to be a white pale skin. Uh, yeah, I do not need I do not need skin color these tails. Just yeah, get on with it. And it goes, we have something of yours, and we want something of yours. It was all so. Well, Sammy is gonna try walk away behind the behind Don't here. Move, pal, as you see the other guy raise the gun. And where just we can see going... them. And where we can see them. Fine. You ain't playing I'll turn. Today. I'll turn to Dan and be like, "Do we like these guys?" Well, I reckon we rub your mouth first. And what exactly, pray tell, do you have that is above mine? Uh, four guys start to approach. They're carrying four other people. You probably assign separate to uh, little tokens here for them. Yeah, I will. Uh, once they have their mask off. No, I'm talking about these guys. Uh, Dan, you recognize those guys. I reckon I would. You at least recognize your uh, adoptive son, who has a bag over his head. And is bound. Well, yeah. Can you actually just you know like assign like separate little token things for the uh, for these guys? Uh, yeah. Just give me a second. Yeah. When he sees that, but uh, just uh, for right now, just to pretend that they're there while I get uh, yeah. some tokens. When yeah, don't worry. As soon as Sammy sees people like tied up, yeah, they are. They have uh, hoods over their heads, like uh, brown bags. They're a bit bloody, and they are. And you see what looks to be uh, zip ties on their hand, on their uh, wrist. Yeah, I'm. Sammy will turn to the look at the people and being like, oh, "Please don't say you're them sort of people." Well, those are some proper bandits. But yeah. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna they take. They currently a have your family ass. Hostage, jizz. Well, he goes. I'm no, going... I don't want any bloodshed, and I'm willing to beg you don't want your family to be murdered right in front of you. Not particularly, no. So, we have came to an uh, interesting conclusion. Your land for your family. Hmm. And do take your time. We do have all day. And what if I refuse to give up my land? Uh, you see the doing... four of them, the four guys that brought the family point their rifles at the back of their head. We shoot them. Then we take this place by force. And you don't want it that. Now, do you? Yes, it will. As I see it, firing on silenced weapon, firing what loud weapons like that is probably the stupidest idea you can have. You know why? <laughs> do I really tell. Reckon, as I reckon, you all know what zombie movies are, right? I am very well aware what a zombie movie is, my friend. 
And you know those, and you know those spindly fuckers you call that, that seem to resemble spiders. Oh yes, those are an interesting outcome, now aren't they? Yes, and here's how I see it. They seem to be awfully similar, right? For example, for example, noise attraction. Noise, food. I can see the benefit. <laughs> Well, whilst this conversation is going I don't on, think you all, I don't think you all are quite resistant to them, are you? Oh no, no, no! We just had to take over. Yeah. What? Well, do you even well, know the first thing of building? Do you even know the first thing of cultivating? We do. In fact, that's why we want your place. Because you already have all that stuff set up. All we want to do is not have this end in bloodshed. Uh, except... There's two problems with your... Uh, there's pro two problems here. You have an ex-military man uh, at gunpoint. With... Point, when you're ri literally right next to him. And... He, and my grandson, who has, who happens to be a martial artist, is of some pretty high color. Again, within, within reach of, of your man. Yeah, if you all. Um, uh, you do realize and, that their hands are tied, noticed. right? Really? Yeah. yeah Think about it. Like, it. all right, seriously though. Oh, when has their when have bound hands been a problem in that scenario? Well, Sammy is currently, as you, you can probably tell, getting very angry. Yeah. All we want to do is a simple trade. No more, no less. And you'll never uh, hear from us again. Well, he's, got, he's currently got a full-on Joker smile at the bloke who's talking. In fact, I grew weary of this conversation. Can I just step forward? Well, like Why you said, do you grow weary? Yeah, it's like you said. You have all day, don't you? Yes. I do, but there is one. I'm, I, I will take out the keys for the car that I have on me. Well... well if you want land, you'll need a ride. I just so happen oh, to have a car in the Oh, we're taking all your shit. Like, we're gonna take everything off of you. Basically, you would be screwed. So don't even try to persuade me, boy. Boy, I'm probably older than you. Can I make a notice? Uh, can I make a notice rule? Absolutely. All right. All right. I'm gonna make a notice. And can I try and make an intimidate? You can, but that intimidate's gonna fail. Just okay. Never mind. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm just now putting on the last one. So, do I notice anything uh, uh, about these guys? Hold on. Absolutely. These guys are not playing around. You see mm. legitimately fully maintained firearms and gear. They are loaded. The safeties mm. are off. They're not playing around. They don't what? Like, there's probably, like, maybe one, maybe two that don't want to kill. Mainly the ones that are holding the kids. Mm. But they mean serious business. Mm. 
And then this will stop me from, I don't know, burning the fucker to the ground. If you do, that, uh, that contradicts the deal, and then we'll hunt after you, like the little bandits you are. Isn't oh, that right, little bandit? Oh, so we're all bonded to you. Very much, yes. This guy what exactly? What exactly? Uh, then what exactly do you think you're all doing? We're taking what rightfully it will belong to us, as was our founding father's principles. Well, hearing that, he will turn to the... Right. He's going to turn to his well, new friend being like, my question. So, what's my question? On? Did you bleed for this land? Did you buy, did you buy the, did you earn every fucking cent of this lot for this land? Uh, you see him like look away as he puts his fingers towards where his ear would be. He goes, Oh, that's so much good news for you. So much good news for you. My boss has just informed me that there's a better deal. Wrong. We, we give you your family. You give us every food, water, medicine, and firearms that you currently have. We leave. We won't return. And your family gets to live. Ain't that great? Mm -hmm. Yeah, except this. Except this. We don't have any far we don't have any firearms except maybe that. And even then the and even then they got don't got ammo. And two and two, unless you plan on unless you plan on coming back act to start a garden, I don't think we I, I don't think we got all that much food to give you. And third, how do you plan on transporting all that water? <laughs> as he kind of put, as he kind of points his thumb at the little uh, rain collector, he goes, "Oh, that? That'll be simple. We can just disassemble it, take the water tanker, and leave." And so that's not a water tanker. That's a rain collector. Idiot. Those things aren't supposed to be moved. And if you do want to move it, you gotta empty it. And I don't think you got that much. And I don't think you got that much storage for about a. a I'm gonna say about fifty gallons of water out there. You hear the guy go, "Bring it in." As. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, whilst that's happening, Sammy's just gonna jump onto the edge of this car and just sit down like on the on the side uh you see two guys bring a jug of like a 30 gallons he goes mm. we're only going to take 30 gallons that should leave you with 20. what now mm. then do not interrupt my friends and it will go a lot quicker Oh, Can I just say something? Well, so what? And let me guess. You guys are the heroes of this story, right? Stealing from the no, bandit. No, 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 no. We aren't the heroes. We know exactly what our role is. The reason that we only call you bandits is because you do not recognize your role. Well, what exactly about all of this is a bandit trade? We're well, doing I, what we need to... No, before they start running off, he will just turn... He, he's, he is going to get up onto the, the roof. Oi! Wait! You know, what's the rush? Stealing from us when we haven't even done... When, when we haven't even negotiated. I make the terms here, friend. Not when it's your, not your land. 
Friends. Well, here's the. My daughter in law has a magic card. And as far as I can tell, you haven't gagged her. You've only put a bag over her head. Take Two, them off. My grandson. You see them take their, uh, ga uh, their hood off and you see that they are gagged. He is really all four of them? And all four of them. You take the hoods off all four? All four of them? Yeah. Alright. Uh, he goes, do you uh, really think uh, that this uh, is my first time doing this? Alright, well is this your first time doing with ex-military and a martial artist? Uh, and uh, I just kind and I just kind of leave that as the cue for them. They attempt to essentially a uh, put the I kind of turn the situation around a bit. And now I'm gonna get the empty the empty gun out and just turn to the bloke and being like, "Get your men to move away, or else a bullet through your eyes." Yeah, and also can uh, can we do like a like a fighting check to see if they can, you know, like do that whole movie thing where 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 like Isaiah, uh, where uh, Isaiah and yeah, I'll roll through that now to see if they remotely be able to do that. Right. Because, yeah, as far as I can tell, they're well within enough range to where they could probably do some sort of, you know, martial artist you know, reversal move there. Especially how their hoods are off, so that means they're not bl Yep. And the only thing they've done is bound their hands, which I'm assuming they used zip ties or possibly twine. Uh, they they use zip ties. Really bind, which, only binds, which only binds their wrist to get wrists together and not their hands. Yep, I'm rolling. I, uh, uh, I'm actually able to escape from zip ties in real life. It's fun. I'm going to roll... Mm. I'm going to roll the... Uh, son, the adoptive son. Yep. What'd he get? Because I can't really see anything right now. Uh, Apparently I failed it. Hold on. Let me... Try this again. Did it not assign him? Huh. It's not working for whatever reason. Hmm. Okay, game plan. As they go uh, to try just to give me access, just give me access to the just give me access to the sheets and I'll see what I Yeah. <clears throat> Edit uh, There's the dad. Mm-hmm. Um, specifically the one, uh, the one, the two I was talking about, Isaiah and uh, yeah, um, and uh, Richard, Richie, Richie. Yeah, Richie is. Yeah, Richie was the martial artist one, right? Yes, I checked. All right. All right. All right. Well, there you go. So yeah, I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do the fighting check for Isaiah. I'm going to start configuring these characters so that way they don't need a target every time. Well, I can do that for Isaiah and Richie real quick. I'll do that for everyone else. Yep. Because that is super annoying.
Ooh, that's a failure on Isaiah. All right. And now for Rich. Which shouldn't be as much of a failure. Hold Uh, yeah, given the whole, yeah. Martial arts. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, he made it. So, he failed. On this guy. And he succeeded. So I'm a, so, uh, so I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say like this guy is this guy probably has like a like a bound hand kind of choke yeah and, and like Richie just kind of turns around so that way his back is towards the fire and uh, and not to the bad guys so kind of move this guy uh yeah. So this guy's right here. Yeah, just move. No, uh, down. One square down. No. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna rotate him. And I'm just gonna rotate. Him. Yep. Hmm. Oh, so you, you disappoint me. He's expendable. This probably puts a cog in your this probably puts a cog in your plans, don't it? The guy right here points his rifle at Richie. No. I'm not afraid of losing my men. As a matter of mm. fact. As a matter of fact, they, I, we all want I kinda, to die. I, if you I, even so much even tried, little boy, we'll see how you like growing up without a mother. I kind of like motion, mo I kind of just kind of do like a strange little mo like slight motion towards um, Sammy here. Yeah. Uh, because I got, I kind of got him distract. I'm, I'm trying to kind of distract him so that way uh, Sammy can kind of slink away, and maybe like sneak up on the on the leader guy here. So I'm gonna do like a, I'm gonna do a taunt on the leader guy. Is right. is this is this garden bit over here like? Uh, it's like it's got it's got a bit of it's got like a little fence. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just taunting the leader guy here to see if uh, to uh, try to distract. That's a failure. He goes, very nice try. As he notes, uh, him climbing off the truck. Yeah, and um, and yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for uh, this... two here. I'm just kind of waiting for two here to kind of sneak up and have a uh, have a shotgun. Oh yeah, two is already on it. In fact, he's right. the only one so, that managed to, to roll a decent stealth against these two. Blinks. Right. Well, I'm, right. Well, I'm just gonna say like two should sneak up on the leader guy, like try to sneak up as close as possible to the leader guy, have a and have a shotgun. All right, I'm gonna roll his stealth. Yeah, I failed anyway, so. <laughs> Please, to get a good stealth so I don't have to give up my land. Come on, two. Let me see if I can even find stealth. Ah, found it. Yeah, no! no! You know what? Because of the hindrance, I'm going to count it as a success. Oh yay! Mainly because I want to see this happen. 
Yeah, I, like I don't want to give up this. We, plus, me and please, plus me and Silver spent too much time actually developing the area. As the uh, guy is distracted and not paying attention, he goes, "Your game has ended." As he and, and I'm as two comes up with the twelve gauge shotgun. And then is just gonna. Your first, was, your, your first mistake was not sweeping out the front and making sure that you got everything, everyone on your, your thumb. So it seems. Very well. Whilst that's there. happening, I am I am walking up to the guy who walked over. To... Very well then. You may have won today's battle, but you will not win the war, bandit. We're leaving. What about the hostages? Not one next to me isn't. Leave them. I prefer the. I prefer the term survivor. Because unlike me, I'm not the one going around stealing sh people's shit. You know what? Yeah, do you know what the definition of a bandit is? One who fucking steals from others. Guess what you're doing? Because this ain't your shit. This is my shit. I bled for this. I bled for this country. And I made and I paid every damn day of this fucking of this fucking part. So guess what? <clears throat> so guess what? You can go fuck right off. <laughs> if you think you're gonna steal you me kill off me, five, you not... bring on the entire raft of my organization. Mark my words. Who said who said anything about killing? As I kind of motion for, like, as I kind of, like, say, Oi, two, cripple this son of a... And he's going to shoot the guy's leg. And did I get, did I manage to grapple the guy I was next to? Uh, yeah. But he was just, like, look, I didn't even want to be here. They forced me to join. Can I? What? What's an in? What's basically an in? Um. No. No. Notice. Difficulty. I'm gonna say three, because he is wearing a mask. He seems to be genuine. Is this right? How many of you are like that? Uh, counting the ones here. Yeah. About 20. It's the leader. <laughs> the He's leader. not the leader. He's just the CEO of this op. Would you prefer he dead? Personally, I would prefer the main boss dead. Him? Yeah, he's just following orders. Me, I personally, I want to go home, but unfortunately, that's not the case. I have no idea. Uh, actually, by the time that you said you have an idea, you see them, uh, these guys start to basically pack up and leave with their, uh, with their, with, the... with, the, with their, uh, CO in tow. With the people. You mean yeah. they're crippled CO and though? Yeah, they're crippled CO. They'll be back though. Can I? I'm still. I still have a hold of that. The, the guy. The guy. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think they. I think they forgot about the two guys that were trying to get the water. The what? The rain collector. Yeah, this guy already ran off. Yeah, the other one's on me. Mainly because you have a grapple. And yeah, goes, and I'm oh, gonna... shit. Right, now that your friends have gone, you're gonna help us. You said you wanted your master. Right. Well, say you catch your prisoner, alright? Here, he even gives you his uh, rifle. Point it at me. 
Why? Just do it. Okay. Oh. All right. Time. So the both of you, so. Uh, Dan, you notice that this guy has no weapon. His hands is up behind his head, and you see mm. behind him is uh, Ben's character. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll keep him. We'll keep him locked down while I fucking free up my family. <sighs> So, yeah, I kind of take my hatchet and just kind of cut the ropes off yep. and uh, ungag my daughter and uh She goes, ah, oh, fucking finally. Those guys are freaking psychos. You're telling me I have to fucking negotiate. God damn it, Isaiah. What? I'm... Man, military training and all for that. They gotta drop on me, all right? Uh, I'm just happy you're all right. Two just looks um, very happy and heads back inside. Uh, be thankful that... Be thankful that rocks. Be thankful that fucking cat got, managed to save, us, save our asses. Yeah, I guess so. This guy goes... So, what exactly are you guys going to do with me? Well, I'm not quite sure. As far as I can tell, there's just some lucky, so I don't think you really know anything. Other than maybe the location of where they're going, but that's about location it. Location and numbers is basically what I know. Yeah, well, I guess you can start off with that. And... If... And if I feel like that's adequate, we'll let you go. But keep in mind that I know your face. If I see if I see you around here again with all them with all them cluster fucks, next time I won't be so generous. All right? Fair enough. How's that for a deal? Sounds fair enough to me. I would just want to get out of here, go head on home. All right, well, well, you know. 20 guys. The guy that you, your friend just shot was just our CEO for this operation. You see, we managed to get the drop on those people over there as he points over to your family. And, well... Our boss decided that it would be a great idea to threaten them with, well, death, specifically the children, in front of the father. So the mother cracked and gave us the location of this nice little building, I must say. Larry will get you nowhere. Fair enough. But yeah, then the boss decided that, hey, this is a great location. Let's take it away from these uh, people. So they sent us out to basically take whatever we could get. Um, and your boss, and your, and does your boss legitimately think that we're all bonded here? Well, he calls himself a bandit king, but I don't know. I think he just watched too many fantasy shows, if you ask me. Mm. Well, as far as I can tell, the last thing, the last word he's going to try to us is bandit. As far as I can tell, we haven't done anything bandit-like, such as stealing from others. Hey, I plead the fifth on that one. All right, well, where are they located? And how many are we dealing with? Like I said, about 20. Mm. We have a few prisoners as well. Your family being one of the first many that we have captured. How many prisoners? 
Not five. Excluding my family? Yes. So, essentially, there was five prisoners excluding uh, Dan's family. Exactly. Mm. And what about location? Uh, he tells you that it's a small dive bar that they all used to frequent. Mm. And he, he basically asks if they all were willing, all wanting to do this. He or said, if they were forced into it. We were mostly forced into it. There was a few people that were like, yeah, let's do this. But the majority of us didn't want to do it. But uh, the ones with the guns said otherwise. All right. So he's going to ask the question, how many how many of you in total, like, like all of you in your little organization, as he calls it? Uh, 20. And how many out of those 20 do not want to be there? And be, and being like all that. About five, maybe six. Count on myself. All right. So, so taking that into account, how many do we have? Uh, counting your new family and the new player, and Jay, about a total of 12. So, counting, and uh, so, count, uh, so, counting all the players, so that's, uh, me, Jay, and, and, uh, set, and, uh, Ben's character, that's three. Yep. Oh, speaking of, I family, that's seven. And then, and then adding in the the Rakishan couple, that's uh, that's uh, nine. Counting the guy that's injured, that's ten. Like I said, twelve. And then, yeah, counting, uh, yeah, the cheerleader and the construction lady, and then the and then the metro worker, that's thirteen. All right, thirteen. And then if we, and then if we can manage to convince the five or six that uh, didn't want to do this, uh, that's about eighteen to nineteen. Well, the five or six member is right here, and it's the one that's giving you the information. Right. So as far as I can know, all twenty of them don't want to be there. Yeah. But I'm just going off of what this guy is telling me. So that's about 20 minus 5 to 6. So that's around that's a, so that's oh, 15, 25 to 24. Right. So that's around 14 to 15 men versus, uh, versus 18 to 19 people who are pissed off at them. Yeah. There you go. This guy goes. For anything else, you would have to basically ask the CL who you shot. Right. Well, well, I think we got ourselves a plan here. They all seem to know what I'm thinking. He just looks confused. These chicken folks decided to steal from me. Uh, I'll be right back in just a moment, so hold that thought. All right. Anyway, sorry, sorry if I was stealing a bit of the spotlight, Ben. Uh, no, no, it's fine. I just wanted out. Okay. I had an I had an email thing pop up and disc Discord kicked me out, even though I can somehow still talk on it, which really I don't understand. But yeah, like Discord cut off and that's it's asking me to re log in, but I but haven't logged in in ages and I don't remember my login info. All right, I'm back. All right. Well, they decided to steal from me, and seeing as how you are all my guests, that kind of, that kind of means he was, they were all trying to steal from you. And seeing as how, right now, uh, we need as many people as we can have, I feel like comes around, goes around. So, 
why don't we go and steal their shit and kill them all? Since that's what they were pretty, pretty much threatening us with. Because, what do you all think? Uh, like, you would have to like talk to everyone and besides, there's like multiple people inside, so. Uh, your family is definitely all a game for it. Uh, yeah, I would go around and ask them all that, and uh, see if they're. I uh, see how many of them are on board. Uh, Ruby would be interested, but she doesn't want to risk injury because of the whole baby thing. Right. I'm not asking you to risk your child's life, so. That and she figures that there's got to be at least a few people back here with uh, firearms to protect the place. And especially if they decide to attack again. Mm. That is, that is a good, that is a legitimate concern. Mm. So yeah, he just asked, he just asks around on who wants to go. And, and, you know, take the fight to these assholes so that way they can all remain safe. And who wants to stay and defend if they do come back? Uh, Joy would definitely go along with you. She goes, ooh, combat? I can at least heal people. Well, you're better off staying here. All right, all right. Not to say that I can't help, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, I asked... So, yeah, I feel like we can just take a few days. You know, like, we can maybe... I would say we probably got, like, maybe a week or two before they come back. Um, as you're trying to ask around, you see someone come out. He's limping, but... Sorry about that, internet. But, yeah, you see someone come out. He's limping, but he seems to be surprisingly okay despite nearly dying in the last one. He goes, what I miss? Well, we're about well, we are we can either attack or be attacked by a bunch of bandits. Already? Mm-hmm. Damn. Not two days in the apocalypse and there's already bandits. Mm -hmm. And these fuckers did. And these fuckers then decided to then decided to threaten my fucking fuck. And also try to steal my shit. So guess what? I'm not about to do I'm about to do the thing. I'm in. We need a couple of you to stay here to defend the place, just in case that they come. Hey, I might be injured, but I can still fight one hell of a fight, sir. Well, guys, my internet's going a bit funny, and it's getting quite late. Yeah, I think we're going to end the session here yeah. shortly. Yeah, I'm just, just... Yeah, yeah, I'm have... just doing a better roleplay here. Yeah, I have work in the morning, so... And essentially, uh, he's asking the guy if he would be willing to defend the place. And he's also going to ask Isaiah to help him um, kind of train up these guys uh, at least a little bit. <sighs> All right, fine. Yeah, because they're going to need to learn how to handle firearms. right? Now. Yeah, I guess hearing that most people don't know how to use the firearms. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, he's going to talk to a few people to try to teach them how to use basic firearm training. Well, people, well, all the people here that have firearms are going to stay. So that, so that's included. So that's including Ricky. Uh, that's including. Uh, Rick, they, actually. Well, yeah, you know I mean, but yeah, Rick is going to stay. Uh, Rick is gonna stay. I think the children should stay. 
Well, no, Richie can come with. He is a money, like, because essentially what I'm thinking is anyone who's able to stealth at least a little bit is going to come with, and we're just going to basically, you know, stealth rate. And anyone, and anyone proficient with a fire alarm or at least, or uh, can't really go uh, due to injuries or other things can stay and, you know, defend. Yeah. And that's kind of the idea. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> so that means Richie's going to probably go. Uh, right. Sam is probably going to go. You're probably going to go because, yep. you know. Yeah. Because they, one, they did try so to. Basically... Take a... They did try Yeah, they did literally just go on board. Yeah, so with the with a family of badasses, my mind you. So, uh, Scott is people still, that are probably more competent than, than they are. Scott is still wounded. He could he's able to walk around, but he's not gonna be able to stay up for very long. Like he was nearly collapsing every time yeah. he took a step. Like yeah, the, uh, so yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking Scott, the two Rakicons, and Isaiah and Rick stay, and uh, possibly Jay's uh, and Jay's character as well would probably stay due to him. I don't think he's quite a stealthy person. Dad, and he's kind of out. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy will turn. Right and look when he mentions fire on and take out the guns he current the rifle he was given by bloke uh the guy go walk over and the guy uh takes his rifle and he goes i want in oh yeah i almost forgot about you I want him and you want him. Well, it's, uh, it's personal. Hmm. I'll take your word. But I don't necessarily trust you, so I'm sure you all keep it away. He tosses you his rifle. He goes, if I was untrustworthy, if I am untrustworthy, I would not have gave you my gun. And That's he just pulls right. out a small uh, knife that he usually carries around. Mm -hmm. well, all, well, of you keep it all, all of you mentioned to keep an eye on this guy. Well, besides, Sammy believes the guy. Than anyone. You're gonna need me. Samuel walk over, pat him on the shoulder, and then just quickly just rip the mask off him. Uh, as you rip his mask off, it's not a guy; it's a lady. Voice Are... changer in the mask. Yep. She goes, really now? Seriously. No secrets. <sighs> fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Do you know how to fight? Do you know how to handle a bow and fire it? I've had a little bit of a uh, target practice with a bow before. Why? Because if you come on. Because on the day that we do go on rent, we're not going in all loud and ballsy like they were. We're gonna play the smarts, we're gonna play this. And guess what? A bow and arrow is a lot more fucking silent than a fucking. Fair enough. Yeah, worst case, I could just always put a silencer on my pistol. 
if you can find one. I only carry about. one. She pulls out a sensor and her uh, 1911 operator. Sat, what, seeing that, Sammy will like, speak up and say, You got a silencer? Of course, I always carry a silencer. He'll, he'll hold out his gun. Here, you can have it. No, I've, another one. I don't need yours. I don't have another one. Just take it. It's fine, keep it. You need it. I'm not going to use my gun until, unless it's a last resort. Also, keep it. Oi! Also, because, oh, the reason why I especially want to go in because I want to fucking strike the fear of God in that motherfucker. Like I said, Another I point. have personal reasons on why I want to take him down. He had the bolt. They have the bolt to attack my family and steal the land that I worked for, and they'll call me a ban. I'm gonna fucking strike the field of Gordon. Let's paint that bar red. Oh, we're not painting it red. We're doing a nice shade of black. I like where this is going. Yep. And Silver, I'll just go over a plan with you after you end this. Uh, yep. And, and uh, yeah, we'll move on from there. I think uh, this would be just the general group that we're going to be using. Unless you want your uh, son-in-law, unless you want your adoptive son to come along. Oh, uh, no, he's going to be to the defense. All right. Uh, Ruby is staying because of the whole, you know, she doesn't want to get... Injured to risk the baby and all that. Uh, Trish just said no, just to spite you. And pointed out that this place could use a little bit more work. Right. Um, yeah. So, let's go over a strip. And, yeah, we're just going to spend a few. And I'm just going to ask, so how long do you... So how long can we expect them to come back? Well, considering it didn't take us long to get here, I think at most, after, you know, getting into the vehicle, about four hour drive, four hour drive back, about mm, a day at most. Mm. Alright. There's not a lot, but at least we can pro at least we can plan a strategy and Yep. And that's where we're going mm -hmm. for this session. Mm-hmm. Good And we can just go over a strategy and we'll be able to go and we can go over a strategy once yeah. you uh turn off. Yep, and I'm about to do that now, so that way I can write it down. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this kind of content, please do what you guys do. And I'll see y'all mates next time.